Welcome to Season 7, Episode 3 of the Two Manager Project. And as always, we start with Manager 1 at Royal and Bassett. We're sat in 20th. It's not been a great start to the season. In fact, we have only just recently recorded our first victory. If we have a quick look at the schedule, Bassett lost everything apart from the game against rugby in pre-season. And after that, lost everything in August. We got beaten, of course, in the last game you saw, which would have been against Newport County. Then we then got hammered by Chester, hammered by Barnet, beaten by Macclesfield, and thrashed by Stockport. It's been brutal. And uh, I'm not going to say we played a different formation in every uh, match there, but it wasn't a million miles away. I have been trying different things, none of which clearly worked. So I went back to a uh, tried and tested in previous seasons with Bassett formation of the... Uh, 442 narrow diamond and we managed to beat Leighton Orient which was it was a fantastic game and it was great for us to uh, do that well because Leighton Orient especially well the sixth now but I'm pretty sure at the time they were like second or third so it was a fairly you know fairly impressive game for us to win in fact that was first that was Leighton Orient's first loss of the season as well as I won so they weren't the team we're expected to beat so a 4-1 against them was Really, really nice. Okay, if we join Manager 2 over at Newport County, you'll find them sat joint second, but only in second because of a slightly worse goal difference to York. Um, still a fantastic place to beat. They haven't lost a game all season, and we've only drawn one, which was against Yeovil. Yeovil, of course, sat down in 14th, and pretty much to draw specialists at the moment for the league. So... Very happy with how things are going. Obviously, it's a lot better than Royal Wooten Bassett. Um, in terms of... Um, our fixture in this episode it will be at home to Macclesfield Macclesfield of course are sat in 13th so very much mid-table um, so it'd be nice to get a result against them Newport of course performing definitely above expectations they are predicted to finish 7th which generally if we're predicted to finish somewhere more often than not I tend to do better so you never know Newport might be making a trip in back to League 2 at the end of this season especially if we managed to maintain this form so uh we'll see how that goes okay so it's Royal Wooten Bassett at home defiled in goal it's Gerling a back four of Edwards Cooper Beckett and Stabana Cooper of course is a new signing new central defender who's just coming to join us three star five star current ability um he has been hanging around Stratford for a while um fairly solidly but as you can see he's already made a half decent first game which of course he appeared in that game the only game we've won this season so far um defensive midfield jackie finch central midfield thomas and kenyon and up front it is baptiste swift and corkery swift only made two starts and he's managed one assist he's still a bit young still isn't quite up to uh well where he was in the first season but obviously we were down in the southern premier center at that point and he was able to knock in 27 and 37 these steps up have uh, taken their toll on him a little bit. He really didn't get firing last season. Um, and, uh, of course, very early in this season to to say otherwise. So we'll see what happens anyway. Well, tell the team they're expected to pick up where they left off. Well, I think that's a good idea. There you go. Can we say it assertively? Yeah, there we go. I want you to pick up where you left out off last time. Well, we seem good for Corkery and Swift. Corkery, of course... Yet another one of those too good not to play situations. Five starts, five goals, 7.73 average rating, playing as a Trekatista since the beginning. I mean, what can you say? Much like Matthew Harris in his heyday, this guy is too good not to play. So, on to the match. Royal Wooten Bassett in the blue with the yellow socks and Fylde are in the all white. And I think it is a filed kickoff. Yes. Oops. Full match. So, yeah, we're sat on positive at the moment, but we will see how filed do. It looks like they're maintaining possession. Oh, Thomas. Don't get yourself booked this early, mate. It's not even the first minute. Free kick for filed. Well, 
obviously fairly slow moving forward wanting to keep their possession and oh my intercepted okay Kenyon now coming forward for Bassett finds Edwards on the wing Edwards with a run in oh and he's fouled it's going to be a uh, yeah foul, fouled by Furman Edwards to take the free kick curls it in oh nobody quite got to it Cooper's there on the edge of the box Thomas knocks one over looks like somebody did some fouling never mind goal kick from Ward Cooper now for Bassett finds Thomas I am going to put this well we're chucking long ball forwards but we'd have three strikers up there I suppose I think what I might do is do the hit early crosses and forget the pass into space at the moment Gilmore on the counter attack for Fylde Gilmore and Gilmore apparently okay I'm going to put this on the key highlights and just see how things go because we're not awful I'm going to demand more though and I'm going to check on yeah there we go hit early crosses Ooh, we've had two shots now. Come on, Oldham. Come on, Oldham. Come on, Bassett. Oh, we had one on target finally. Which is more than five to manage, but I'd like us to convert that. That's five shots now. Six shots. Let's get creative, shall we? Okay, free kick for Fylde. Over the top to Winter. And oh, he just puts it wide. That was a bit too close for comfort. Come on, Bassett. Oh, yeah. Are we on... Uh, yeah, play for set pieces. There we go. And I should also knock your tempo down a bit. Because otherwise you will be naggered. I'm going to demand more once more. Oh, it's half time. Well, we're not awful. And we're not losing. So, in line with what the uh, assistant manager suggests, I'm going to say you're all doing great. Truth be told... Mr. Thomas is not having the best game, so I think you might be a substitution at the moment for... Nah. I think Otley's going to come in for you. All right. It's a Bassett kickoff. Otley with the ball forward. Again, realise I'm playing him out of position, but trust me when I say he can do a very good job there. Let's demand more. Come on, Bassett. Corner, Edwards to take it. Oh my goodness, Corkery gets on the end of it. It's Raw Wooten Bassett 1, filed nil. Two and a half star potential, two and a half star ability, sixth goal of the season. Nathan Corkery with a on the volley from the corner, delivered by Edwards. Very happy. You know it's going to be a good day when Corkery has a good uh a good game. Let's just see if Swift and Baptiste can perhaps pick up a little bit. And maybe I'm going to go into the tactics here and I'm just going to change Baptiste's role a little bit. And have him on support as a pressing forward and I'm going to make you play as an advanced forward there, Swifty, and see if that helps you improve your game a bit. And we are back. Go on, Bassett. 80 minutes, 81. We're still in the lead. Oh, Edwards at a free kick. Puts it in. Kenyon gets to it. It's there. Oh, dear. Jack Emmett. Poor old Emmett. He must have got on the rebound there. So that's Bassett 2 fouled nil. Lovely free kick by Edwards there. Kenyon tries to get it in, but uh, Emmett very kindly heads it away. 16 shots, 6 on target to there too. Cooper with the free kick. Lovely one over the top. Baptiste is on it, and he has a go, but it's over. Um, funny enough, since I put him on support as a pressing forward, he's, he's improved his game. Swifty, on the other hand, not so much. 92 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Tremarco on the end of a free kick there. It didn't go in. And that's your lot. Roll Wooten Bassett, two. Filed nil. That's two wins in a row. Goodness gracious. Corkery must be man of the match for that one, I'm sure. And I'll tell you all how fabulous you are.
I don't normally do this, but I'm actually going to show you a, the second Royal Wharton Bassett game. It Basically, the way it worked out, Bassett's last game, which was in between the two friendlies you'll see in the previous episode, uh, the Albania friendlies, that is, um, there was no Newport game, but obviously today, on the 14th, there is a Bassett and a Newport game. So we're going to see both, but we're going to start with a Bassett game. We are away to Chesterfield. Chesterfield, of course not doing that well um and and that's good coming from me considering that uh let me go in and have a look apparently not let's go to the national and we can see yeah they're below us in 20th they have managed a, a win and a draw and four losses where obviously we're on two wins and five losses similar situation i would suggest so it'd be interesting to see how we do against one another um and i consider you know, Chesterfield's one of the football teams I've actually, you know, uh, been there to their ground. So, anyway, in goal, Gerling, back four of Edwards, Cooper, Beckett and Stabana, Finch in defensive midfield, Thomas and Kenny in the central midfield. And up front, it is Baptiste Lansdowne and Corkery. Lansdowne coming in for Mr. Swifty. This young lad is on loan from Sheffield Wednesday. He hasn't, he's scored a goal for us, but he hasn't, uh, this will be his first start. So, I'm curious to see how he gets on. I mean, the, the young lad's got good potential, good physicals. And he is not completely without skill. So, hopefully, we'll see how he gets on. Um, yeah, we'll go with the pickup. Where you left off, idea. I don't know why it doesn't come up as an option always. There you go. I want you to pick up where you left out last time out. There we go. My apologies. I just didn't see it. Okay. Well, Chris Lansdowne's got a no pressure, so that's good. And kick off. It is Chesterfield in the blue with the white shorts and Royal and Bassett in the all red. So Bassett kick off with Corkery there. So clearly we're playing a little bit better in uh, with these tactics, and which is great. I'm very happy. Um, because uh. <laughs> Oh my God, was that an awful August to lose every single game? It's it's one of those when you feel like nothing you do makes any difference. And I'll not lie to you, the the, the first win we had with these tactics did make me wonder whether or not we were just being lucky. But uh, that being said, Dominic Cooper coming in has made quite a difference, believe it or not. He has sort of tightened up the back four quite nicely. Um, in our two wins, he has been, you know, seven plus in terms of his rating. Long ball forward there from Gerling, but uh, Corkery doesn't get on the end of it. Oh, dear. What happened there? Bruni got on the end of it, but I think maybe Beckett got in because that's a corner for Chesterfield, and it is Wakefield to take it. Oh, onto the head, but Gerling is in the way and catches it nicely. Gerling has been fantastic. We just had another keeper come up on on uh, one of the scouting reports who looks really fancy. Stabana coming forward, tries to cross him. Um, and skill-wise, he looks similar to Gerling. He got better, you know, star rating and all the rest of it. Beckett with a lovely cross in the middle. Thomas is there. Oh, and it's just wide. Sorry, I got a bit excited. Um, but I'm so happy with how Gerling's done and what his performance is like. It seems wrong to try and replace him at this stage. So, um, I don't know what happened there, but uh, free kick. Diver to take it for Chesterfield. Oh. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go on to key highlights. I'm not saying that we're dominating because we're not, but we're not doing badly. Ken's the free kick for Chesterfield. I think I'm going to put us on cautious. There we go. Diver again for Chesterfield. Eckersley coming forward. Wakefield puts the ball into the box. Bruni scores. I honestly thought the reason why I, you know didn't get excited is I really thought that he was offside, but apparently not, because that's him there. Yeah, he wasn't. Defensively, we are rubbish. You know what? We are uncautious. Let's go attacking just for a laugh. Come on, Beckett. Come on, Girling. Make us proud. Okay, Stabana coming forward now for Bassett. Summerfield tackles him. Bruni. Maybe we should be direct counter-attacking at this point. Let's try it. 
putting the pressure on us now. Let them get him. Another corner though for Chesterfield. Wakefield to take it. Into the middle. Cleared by Beckett. But we don't see what happens next. Well, we're not having a go. We're not having any shots on. Wakefield with another free kick. Into the middle. Oh, Summerfield gets on the end of it. But goodness gracious. I don't know how we're not 2-0 down at this point. Um, I have to keep playing around with this. And I know it's not the best way. But let's try some vertical tiki-taka. And just see if that improves them matters. Because, oh my goodness. Wakefield with another free kick for Cheltenham. Uh, Chesterfield. Kenyon clears it this time. We should be like 3-4-0 down at this point. Wait, Edwards with a corner for Bassett. Oh, and uh, Cairns just beats Beckett to the header. I think that was Beckett anyway. It doesn't really matter who it was. Price on the counter-attack for Chesterfield. Bruni's there, and oh, well done, girling. Good God, if it wasn't for you, we'd be stuffed. I'll tell you what needs to happen, though. Beckett needs to stop. And Cooper. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. You're not. You're looking a bit tired. You know what? I'm going to bring on Phil Taylor. It's too early. Stay where you are. Stop making knee-jerk reactions. All right. Here we go. Oh, you know what else I'm going to change? Ugh. Baptiste. I'm going to. He played so much better as a pressing forward on support that that's what he's going to be. Back to the pitch. Wakefield. Just delivering the corner for Chesterfield. Wallace is there, and it's cleared. It's done that thing again where it slowed down. Come on, Bassett. We can do this. Okay, Kenyon now finds Baptiste. Baptiste over the top for Corkery. Corkery finds Lansdowne. Lansdowne to Finch. About the best effort we've had. Stabana's in the box. And he gets dispossessed by Summerfield. I don't know how his game's going. He seems to be doing all right. Edwards picks up that ball. Thomas now coming forward for Bassett. Kenyon. I'm not happy with the fact that our uh, midfielders aren't getting far enough forward. So let us change him to a central midfielder on attack. Because that is his preferred decision and oh look it's gone slow again look these things I, I don't know what happens Chestfield on the counter attack Summerfield deep crosses Wakefield well stopped there I think that was Beckett oh, it might not be no Beckett's over here I see the blonde here and I think Beckett Thomas now dispossesses Chestfield player Corkery's away he's got support he's going to get the cross in but it's cleared by the Chesterfield defender. Summerfield now on a counter-attack. Bruni on the wing. Lovely tackle by Beckett there. Well, I don't really know what to say for Finch other than maybe he should be doing that instead. Oh, free kick to Robert and back. Girling was shoved by Price. That's a bit naughty, Price. Okay. Girling. Beckett now for Bassett. Well, oh, that was Lansdowne. Got his head to it. Well, nobody up front is doing any good, including Corkery, which is unfortunate. See if we can't demand more. Let's try a bit positive. Corkery. Stabana. Kenyon. Stabana again. Trying to get across him, but it's not happening. And, uh, oh, nice tackle by Finch, but he did put it out of play. That's unfortunate. 25 minutes. We are still 1-0 down. Okay, well, Chesterfield. There we go, Beckett. Girling now to put the ball forward. Are we back? Did I put us on key highlights? No, we're still in full match. God, this is going to be a long episode. Key highlights. Okay. Eckersley for Chesterfield. Puts one over for Price. Well saved, Girling. Let's try some direct counter-attack action because the Tiki Taka was not doing it for us. If it wasn't for Girling, we'd be about 5-6-0 down at 6-1 uh, down at this point. 
nil even. Now tell us to push forward. Oh dear. Baptiste is awful, Lansdowne and Corkery are terrible. What do you do? I think I'm going to try something interesting. I'm going to bring Corkery into here, keep him as a Trekatista on attack, lands down. It's coming off for Johnny Swift. And I think Baptiste. Let's try playing you as a target man on support this time and see how that goes. I'm going to undo. Because I'm. What else can Lansdowne play as? He can be a poacher. Oh, he can be a target man on attack. Yeah, go on, let's try it. Baptiste, I'm taking you off for John Swift. John Swift, go poach us some goals, would you? Because by crikey do we need it. Um, poor old Cooper's not doing so well. So Phil Taylor's coming back. Phil the Power Taylor. No relation. Yeah. Young player, he's been with us quite some time. Yeah, he's been with us since the 21-22 season, and he's been solid. I mean, I don't think he missed a game last season um, in the Vanarama South. Um, obviously, there's a bit more depth now with Cooper and a bit more competition, so he's not guaranteed every game, but he's also not been fantastic so far this season, but that's not, you know, that's not necessarily a reflection on him as it is the entire team. Okay, Cassian Thomas. It's coming off for Jamie Farrell. Jamie Farrell is going to play a ball winning midfield on support. Jackie Finch is going back to anger man. And let's try it out. All right. Go on, let's try that. Well... Start the second half. We're one nil down. It is a Chesterfield kickoff. I'm wrong cautious, but I don't know if defensive will be a better option. I'd like a draw. I'd like to salvage a point from this. Maybe I should be in fact kind of positive. Lands down with a free kick for Bassett. Puts it over. Corkery's there and he scores. Seventh goal of the season. They've allowed it. Oh my goodness. Oh, very happy about that. Well done, Corkery. Again, too good not to play. Especially when he can score goals like that. Lovely free kick from Lansdowne too. I'm glad I kept him on now. Just goes to show. Okay, it's evens. Coming up to 60 minutes. Let's demand some more. Edwards with a corner now for Bassett. Puts it in the middle and it's clear. There was nobody there. Beckett has a go and it's just over. But that's... Nice effort from Beckett. You don't see him get many of those, or at least try and get many of those. Rowley now with a free kick for Chesterfield, and oh my goodness, Bobby Diver. That's his first goal of the season, but uh, can't really fault him for that, can we? That was a nice free kick. Well done, Rowley. I just need to double-check our team instructions here, because of course, yeah, we are playing for set pieces, so that's fine. Let us pass, and let's just try that. Demand more. Go on, Bassett. Let's get a point. Let's get another goal. You know you can do it. Corkery can score us one. Let's go attacking just for the heck of it. Wakefield with a corner for Chesterfield into the middle. And oh, it was off the post, but it's been cleared. Another Chesterfield throw in. 82 minutes. Push forward, boys. Come on. 86 minutes. Come on, Bassett. Come on, Swifty. Anyone. That's it. I think it's all over. Oh, Corkery with a chance of a counter-attack. He's tackled by Diver. We've got about 30 seconds. Taylor now, Corkery. No, Swift did not make it to it. Taylor, another long ball forward. Corkery picks up the loose ball this time. Out wide to Edwards. Edwards tries to get a cross in. And that's your lot. Well, we tried... I am disappointed. <laughs> they had 20 shots at 11 on target to our 5 and 2, so I suppose I can't be too, too upset. Nevertheless, I don't know if I'm going to call your efforts excellent, let's say. 
Yeah, go on then. We're underdogs and you gave it a good effort. You did. You did give it a good effort. But I'm a bit concerned about Swifty. He's not managing to do anything in the first team. I mean, I know he's not necessarily supposed to be any good for us, but still. Okay, it's time for Newport at home to Macclesfield in goal. It's Parry with a back four of Thompson, Fenton, Williams and Alban. Defensive midfield, Kirby and Rathbone. Left wing, Hardy. Attacking midfield, central, Houndstrup. Right wing, Hines. And up front, it's Toure. Well, Houndstrup, as you know, didn't get a lot of games last season. Um, certainly not as many as he wanted, that's for certain. Uh, and he didn't do too badly, but he was being played out of position. But since we've been playing him in the position and the role that he likes to play in, well... Six appearances, four goals, one assist, and one player of the match, and an average rating of 7.5. I mean, again, can't not play him in that position doing what he's doing. Toure hasn't been doing too badly, but he's only managed one in five. He's been playing well enough, and we are dominating, but, you know, he is not a massive goal scorer, but he is playing well enough. Um, we have looked into signing a couple of central midfielders because... Uh, but a couple of the players have been complaining about the lack of depth in midfield, so there will be some more faces to come in. All right. We shall try to encourage the team. Yeah, we owe Macclesfield. Macclesfield are expected... To, well, we're actually expected to win this, but our history against Macclesfield in terms of uh, results is terrible. We've drawn five. Macclesfield, I think, have won six. I mean, obviously, this is since, you know, the start of our save in the 18-19 season but uh, anyway let's go to the match and uh, Houndstrup's got to pick up where he left off which would be great it is Newport in the yellow and or the orange depending on what it looks like on screen and Maxfield in the blue with the white shorts and it is a Newport kickoff Houndstrup coming forward for Newport Hines puts the ball out wide for Alban Alban with the cross Oh, cleared by the defender, only as far as Thompson. Thompson to Rathbone. Albert now finds Hines. Kirby has a go, and it's off the... Oh, my goodness, it was off the crossbar, and then Toure got on the end of the uh, the uh, rebound, but was not to be. Anyway, Albert coming forward now for Newport. We're clearly dominating possession. There's a free kick. One minute in. Houndstrup to take the free kick. Clear by the defence. Houndstrup picks it up. Williams on the left. Puts it through. Goes nowhere. And oh my goodness. New, Newport got fouled. So another free kick. Houndstrup. Nope. Fenton to take this one. Not the most exciting uh, work you'd see. But he is a central defender I guess. But anyway. Let's go to key highlights. Given that we are pretty much dominant here. And say, kick crowd, boys. So, we've had three shots, two on target. Oh, free kick from Hunt for Macclesfield. Find Sheaf. Oh, my goodness. That was a little too uh, close for comfort. Hunt now. Rathbone clears it. Only as far as Evans for Macclesfield. I've got to question the pathing sometimes here. Let's demand more. Come on, Newport. You've got it in here to score a goal. Usually scoring lots. I'm going to go attacking. Oh, Kirby with a free kick. And uh, I think it was just a little bit high. We've gone on to attacking now. And I think I'm going to say, show some passion, will you? Need to just double check the analysis. Yes, short passing. There we go. Back to pitch. Coming up towards half time. Still nil nil. Houndstrup seven. A oh dear. There's a few players. Maybe not playing as well as they should. We are dominating, both in possession and shots and whatnot, but apparently they're disappointing, so let's say. I'm far from pleased with what I just thought. Oh, who's stressed? Dave Rathbone. Well, you might be coming off, old mate. Houndstrup. All right, Houndstrup's coming off for Mackay. Or McKay. Oh, Kirby. I see you doing better than that. Levi Sutton's coming on for Kirby, I think. Now, young Mr. Sutton is not too keen, so we'll... Um, 
try a ball winning midfielder on support. Oh no, we've already got a ball winning midfielder on defender. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Much, much better. Mackay, on the other hand, he can be a shadow striker. Can Rathbone be anything else? Well, he can be a uh, central midfielder on defend, but you know what? He's generally doing okay. Generally. Okay, well, I just realised we don't have another striker on the bench. That might be something we need to look into. Oh, well, that's what I can do, actually. I'm going to swap around to Ray and Hardy. Hardy can play up front and see how he does. Okay, let's demand more. Throw in for Newport. Rathbone to Mackay. Mackay on a bit of a run. And he has a go, but it's a little bit high and wide. Apparently Newport have now dropped down to fifth. Album with the cross in. Oh, Mackay picks up loose ball. Sutton's there. Back to Mackay. Lovely ball from Mackay, but just a bit wide. He needs to be a little bit more accurate with that kind of thing. Hardy's picked his game up a little bit. Toure. It's on his head, but anything for any analyses I need to be aware of? No. Um, I'm going to demand more once I get the opportunity. It's good to see that we're focused, but I'd like to see us score some goals. Show some passion. Oh, lap seal. Goodness gracious. Tyler Smith scores for Macclesfield. A very, very messy free kick over there, and, and I'm expecting to find out one of my defenders is upset about it. Yeah. Good job, Smith. All right. Come on, Newport. Yeah, Fenton was the... Uh, Fenton is the one who, unfortunately... Had a bit of a disappointment, so we're going to bring in Nditty. I want to play Nditty as a stopper. Sutton to Alban. Rathbone. Come on now, Newport. You're better than this. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm there, but it looked a bit like pinball. Clearance kick, and it just cannoned off everybody. Uh, we've made all of the uh, changes we made. Come on, push forward. Parry to Williams. Williams to bring the ball forward for Newport. Hines now. He's not had a particularly good game. Mackay puts it out for Hardy. Hardy with the cross in. Toure, another cross. Gets cleared. That was like there was nobody in the box there, wasn't it? Sutton puts it out wide now to Alban. Alban to Hines. Hines with another cross. Toure's there. Oh. We're trying. Thompson now picks the ball up for Newport, and we don't see what happens. Yeah. Well, I can understand Toure's frustrated, but what do you do? Throw in from Bella House for Macclesfield. Sheaf hunts in the middle. Sheaf again. Puts it out wide. Smith. Come on, Newport. We're better than this. This is not this is not the result we should be getting at this point. Not with the way we've played. Come on, Toure. And Ditty with a long ball forward. Hardy's on it. Oh, and he just fires it at the keeper. Come on, Hardy. I thought he'd picked his game up, was not the B. Ah, let's hit some early crosses and play for set pieces and be more expressive. I don't know what else to say, really. Sutton on the counter-attack for Newport. But it was too little, too late. We were a better time. We were a better team, apart from the number of fouls. That's pretty disgusting, 25 fouls. But we've lost. 1-0 to Macclesfield. I'm... Yeah, I'm upset. You're all in training tomorrow. Okay, let's finish up with a quick review. We'll start with manager one at Royal Wooten Bassett. We are sat in 20th on six points. Chestfield, of course, going above us now on seven. It's, you know, we got hammered. What can you say? They still have a game in hand. Um, 
Our next game is going to be against Gateshead. Gateshead are mid-table. They haven't been doing too badly, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, pretty, pretty disappointing for Bassett at this point. As far as Manager 2 at Newport is concerned, that too was a particularly unfortunate result. Um, where are we schedule? Should have done better, but we didn't. That's fine. Next game is against Cheltenham. Cheltenham are... Well, we are the favourites for that, but then we were favourites for the last game. But Cheltenham are sat at the bottom. So, really important for us to beat them. I mean, that's the thing. It's important for just <laughs> for us to beat anybody who can uh, go above Royal Wooten Bassett at this point. Um, just to give them a hope of staying up. But, nevertheless, very disappointed with that result. And it has dropped us down to fifth place. Though, again, we do have a game in hand over the teams above us um, and if we win that if we were to win that game in hand as things stand we would be top so I'm not overly disappointed you can see how tight it is up there it's also very tight at the bottom as it would be we're only eight games in but Bassett really need to bite and claw for every point they can possibly get and uh, I can't have too many performances like that let me tell you anyway if you enjoyed that please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Football Manager videos thank you very much for watching Thank you.